in the last year and a half one has heard also a lot of rhetoric around the situation of jobs and visas in the US particularly. Uh, well, I my strong view is that US continues to be a great destination to study and to work. Uh, US has been the mecca for business schools. The top 20, 30 business schools in the world are in the US. The US economy has been on a roll now for the last four to five years. And my whoever students I've been in contact with, I find that most of them have had great jobs irrespective of wherever they've graduated from. So US continues to be a great destination. One or two pieces of advice I could give to students who are looking at US would be uh, perhaps you could decide to choose concentrations which are centered around business analytics or data science. Wharton for example uh, has a concentration in business analytics. What it does is it allows you to graduate with a STEM degree which is a science, technology, engineering, math. It allows you to graduate with a STEM degree and gives you a three year period where you can work in the US on your student visa. It's called the OPT. So it gives you a three year OPT. So th that is one tip that you know you could you could really uh, supplement your MBA or choose a concentration which is more STEM related. The other thing I've seen I mean as US MBA degrees continue to get costlier I think the question you all have to ask is that should you be doing an MBA from a top 10 or should you also consider MBA from the next 50. Uh, and the difference really is that in the top 10 while it's a great brand in the next 50 where you have some great schools like uh, Simon Rochester or Wisconsin Madison you also get a lot of financial aid and scholarships. So effectively you may be doing your MBA at 25 to 30 percent of the cost of a top 10 school and that I think is a huge relief when you graduate. So you graduate with far lesser burden of debt uh, you can make better choices and more or less you have access to an equally good employment pool. So choose your MBA school carefully US is perhaps the one country which is very very liberal on scholarships and financial aid for MBA applicants. So I would still bet very very strongly on the US it would definitely be amongst the top two to three countries that I want to apply to and as long as you apply carefully as long as you apply judiciously uh, well it still is a dream destination.